Hello class 6 students, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well. I am Monica Bajaj, your science teacher. Today we will discuss about your unit 3rd, the world of living. Chapter number 7, things around us. Look at the things around you. Some of these things are natural. Something that is natural exists or happens because of nature, not because it was done or made by people. Some of the things around you are not natural but are created by human beings. Natural things can be living and non-living. Living things are often called organisms. Organisms have several features or characteristics which make them different from non-living things. Living and non-living things. The things that have life in them are called living things. Plants, insects, animals, human beings are living things. The things that do not have life in them are called non-living things. Wood, paper, sun, moon, stones are called non-living things. Non-living things can be natural or man-made. Stones, wood, sun etc. are natural non-living things. Whereas glass, plastic, paper etc. are man-made non-living things. Characteristics of living things. Living things need food. All organisms need food and water to live. Green plants make their own food in their leaves. They prepare their food with air and water in the presence of sunlight. Animals cannot make their own food. They depend on plants directly or indirectly. Cellular organization. All living organisms starting from microscopic bacteria to a mango tree are all made up of cells. A cell is the basic structure and functional unit of life. The cells are so small in size that you can fit a million of them in the full stop at the end of this sentence. Cells can be viewed only under a microscope as seen in activity on the next page. If an organism is composed of only one cell, it is called unicellular organism. And if it is made up of many cells, it is called multicellular. Bacteria, amoeba and virus are some unicellular organisms. Single cell carried out all the function for these organisms to stay alive. Both blue whale and a mango tree are multicellular. The cells of multicellular organisms are specialized to perform certain tasks. For example, nerve cell and muscle cells work together to keep us alive. Nerve cells carry messages from the surroundings to your brain. Other nerve cells carry messages and transfer them to your muscle cell which make our body response. The chemicals of life. The cells of all living organisms are composed of chemicals. The most abundant chemical in the cells is water. There are other important chemicals which perform different function in our body. Proteins and lipids are the building material of the cells. They resemble wood and bricks in function. As wood and bricks are the building materials of house, proteins and lipids are building materials of cells. Cells also contain the nucleic acid DNA. It is the genetic material which controls and directs the functioning of the cell. Let's see an activity. Aim to observe plant cells. Material required glass slide, onion, cover slip, saffron and stain, glycerin, water, three droplets. Procedure Slice an onion. Take one small piece of using a tweezer, peel off the inner section of the skin. Place it on the center of a clean glass slide. Make sure that the peel is not folded or curved up. Add a drop of water to the peel. Add a drop of saffron and stain and a drop of glycerin to the peel. Place a cover slip on the peel. This has to be done slowly so that no air bubbles enters the cover slip. Clean the slide of any extra strain or glycerin using a filter paper. Observation Observe the slide under the microscope. Conclusion You will find the cell structure as shown in the picture. See the picture carefully. Next is living things move. 
most of the animals are able to move from place to place they move in search of food and shelter or to escape from their enemies the movement from one place to another is called locomotion plants do not move around as such their parts show movement they move their stalks and their leaves their roots grow and move in soil the stems move towards light the sunflower move its face from the east west with the sun the petals of the morning glory open each morning next is growth all living things grow growth is increase in size of an organism as it matures as we grow we become larger and heavier the growth of plants is different from that of animals human being grow up to the age of 16 to 20 age of 16 to 20 years thereafter there is no change in the height the body cells multiply fast during growth and also enlarge in size similarly animals do not grow after reaching a particular age but plants continue to grow throughout their life you may have observed that a seed germinated and grows into a complete plant next is excretion excretion is one characteristic common to all living things a large number of waste material is provided in the animal body by different life processes such as digestion and respiration these waste materials are of no use to the body and if allowed to accumulate in the body may become toxic therefore they need to be removed from the body the process of elimination of waste products from living body to maintain a constant environment in it is called excretion when proteins are broken down in the body ammonia urea and uric acid are produced carbon dioxide is produced as a waste product during respiration during digestion the undigested food is eliminated from the body as feces extra salt is eliminated as sweat in plants breakdown of substances is much slower than in animals and the waste is produced in a very small quantity therefore plants do not have special organs of excretion green plants in the absence of sunlight or plants that do not contain chlorophyll produce carbon dioxide and water as respiratory waste products carbon dioxide release during respiration is used during photosynthesis oxygen itself can be thought of as a waste product generated during photosynthesis plants can get rid of excess waste by transpiration waste products may be stored in creases that fall off a few waste material that are exuded by some plants are resin sap latex and gum plants also excrete some waste substances into the soil around them next is living things reproduce you have learned that every individual organism has a definite life span it lives for some time and then dies in this way its race would come to an end to continue its existence every organism reproduces living beings like itself this process is called reproduction different living organism reproduce in different ways some lay eggs other give birth to their young ones some plants produce seeds that grow into new plants some plant produce seed like parts called spores other grow directly from a parent plant human beings and some animals give birth to babies others lay eggs next is respiration living beings need energy for various activities food is the main source of energy for them respiration help living beings obtain this energy it is an oxidizing and energy releasing process for this we need oxygen you know that living organism take in oxygen present in the air this process of taking oxygen is called breathing this oxygen is used to break down complex food substances into simpler substances like carbon dioxide co2 and water h2o and release energy 
Thus, the process of taking in oxygen and its oxidization to release energy is called respiration. Most organisms have special organs to take in oxygen. In animals, human breathe in air through the nostrils into the lungs. Animals live in water like fish have gills to separate the dissolved oxygen from water. Animals like earthworm breathe through their body surface while insects through spherical present in their body. In plants, the plants get oxygen from the environment and return carbon dioxide and water vapor into it. This mere exchange of gases is known as respiration. Generally, plants do not have any organ for breathing. In plants, the exchange of gases take place through small pores on the surface of their leaves known as stomata. Aquatic plants which are submerged in water respire through their body surface. Let's see an extra mile. Non-living things neither breathe nor need respiration. Living organisms have a definite lifespan. Living things do not live forever. Every individual organism remain alive for some time and then it dies. Different kinds of organism have different average duration of life. It ranges from a day to hundreds of years. The lifespan of some organism are given below. Lifespan of tortoise is 120 to 150 years. Lifespan of spider is 20 years. Lifespan of elephant is 70 to 90 years. Lifespan of lion is 25 years. Life of banyan tree is 210 years. Lifespan of mouse is 2 to 3 years. Lifespan of squirrel is 8 to 9 years. Lifespan of dog is 16 to 18 years. Lifespan of housefly is 1 to 4 months. Lifespan of ostrich is 45 to 50 years. Let's see an extra mile. The giant Aldebra tortoise in Kolkata was possibly the oldest animal on the earth. He died at the age of 300 on 23rd March 2006 of liver failure. He had been a bachelor all his life. Difference between living things and non-living things. Let us summarize the difference between living and non-living things in the following table. See the table. Living things. Living things have definite shapes and size, while non-living things do not have a definite shape and size. Living things are made up of cells, while non-living things are not forms of cell. Living things can repair the damage caused to their body, while non-living things cannot repair the damage. Living things change according to their environment, adaptation. Non-living things are unable to adapt. Living things show movement, while non-living things do not move on their own. Living things need food for growth, repair and energy, while non-living things do not take food. Living things respire to release energy, while non-living things do not respire and do not produce energy. Living things produce excretory waste, non-living things do not excrete. Living things respond to stimuli, while non-living things do not respond to stimuli. Living things reproduce their own kind. Non-living things do not reproduce. Living things grow and increase in size due to cell division, while non-living things do not grow. The increase in size is due to the addition of matter from outside. Living things have definite lifespan. Non-living things do not have a fixed lifespan. Living things follows a definite life cycle, while non-living things do not follow any life cycle. Let's quick revise. Readers digest. Things can be categorized as living things and non-living things. Growth is the gradual increase in size of an organism. Animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. All living beings respond to stimuli. The act of taking in oxygen is called breathing. 
respiration is an oxidizing and energy releasing process the process by which waste material is thrown out of the body is called excretion all living beings live for a definite lifespan okay student we have done our chapter now it's time to take your leave bye bye thank you